Hi everyone, this is Julie Beck and I am one of the artists that shows with Bowersock and we are doing some fun videos for everybody to uh, see part of our processes and one of the processes which I think uh, a lot of people have questions about is varnishing. So I previously uh, showed a video where I was describing how I came up with this painting and I'd mentioned how um, the colors are still kind of matte because of this thing we call sinking in where it looks really gray and matte. And the beautiful thing about a final varnish is it really brings those colors back to life. So today I'm using uh, Natural Pigments Conservar, which is a synthetic varnish. And that's what I typically use on my painting. It is easily removable with mineral spirits, but again, it does a great job of bringing back the colors. Um, so what I'm using is like a single dedicated brush for varnish and um, trying to apply actually a pretty thin layer of varnish. So hopefully you can start to see how the colors really start to come through and become super rich uh, and true to life uh, with the varnish. So I'm trying to go for a relatively thin layer here. I don't want a ton of uh, pooling. The varnish does its job even up with a pretty thin application. So this painting's called The Piece of Wild Things uh, and it's inspired by uh, Rene Magritte, who is one of my favorite artists of all times. And um, I was really excited to finally get this painting done. So again, I'm just trying to make sure I have a nice even layer of varnish all across the space. And this will start to tack up um, in about 10, it'll start to tack up in the next couple of minutes, but right now it's open enough for me to make sure that it's evenly distributed and I can get any hairs or um, lint out of the painting. So I'm going to um, especially inspect those darker areas because that's when, where lint tends to show up. And so hopefully now with this layer varnish, the colors you can see are so much richer and true to life. So there you go, that's varnishing.